I'm Nora Gamas Torres and I cover Cuban affairs for El Nuevo Herald and the Miami Herald. Some of the biggest news out of Cuba this week was new photos of Fidel Castro. The photos and an interview were published on Cuban government websites. Castro had a conversation with the University of Havana student leader and they discussed agriculture, astronomy and food production. Fidel hasn't made a public appearance in about a year and the last photos published of him are from about six months ago when he met with Venezuelan President Nicolás Maduro. As expected, U.S. Senator Marco Rubio laid into the White House plans to normalize relations with Cuba. He pushed hard on the issue, asking Roberta Jacobson if the administration has received any guarantees from the Cuban government that it will change its record on human rights. Jacobson represented the White House at the hearings. Last week, Raul Castro demanded the return of Guantanamo Bay to Cuba. Jacobson led the first round of normalization talks. She went on the record saying that returning Guantanamo Bay and the U.S. base is, quote, not on the table in these conversations. Congresswoman Ileana Ross Lettinen had an emotional exchange with Jacobson over the return of a Cuban spy who had been convicted for his involvement in a murder. She talked about the secrecy of President Obama's negotiations and argued to Jacobson that the White House must have lied to the relative who saw a convicted criminal return to Cuba. There are reports out of Cuba that the government wants U.S. members of Congress to postpone any trips to the island until April. Minority leader Nancy Pelosi and Senator Jeff Flake of Arizona had already scheduled trips for this month. And the U.S. has also set April as a gold month to open the American Embassy in Havana.